it's Judith again, and uh, I'm following up on the uh, last video, which was following up on the one before, where the Celestial team came through and showed us that unity consciousness is all around us. So then the follow-up was um, on the, the alchemy, really, of the frequencies of the word self-cherish. So this one uh, is about the alchemy of disengaging from polarity through the release of attachment and resistance. Attachment to something Resistance to another actually is what fuels the extremes of polarity. Now, if you really, really get into the frequency of cherishing yourself, that alchemy will trump this. You, you, you'll just, this will just be included and you'll release because cherishing yourself will be more important, right? However, if you have some, like, trouble or uh, some little challenges with that, that's why I'm bringing this one, this video forward. See, the thing is, what we always do here and have been doing and, like, creating a vast array of positive and negative experiences when we don't want to, is that we set an intention for something, set the frequency for it, but we set it from a place of wanting it because we don't want where we are or we want to get out of where we are, right? Now, frequency does not discriminate between what we want or what we don't want. Frequency is neutral at our disposal. We're the ones who choose it. And it's powerful. Frequency is way more powerful than you know. Many of, all of us, let me be blunt, all of us have continually repeated experiences way more than we ever thought we wanted to have them. And this is actually how we do it. We undo them through the way we set our the frequencies for them. Okay, for example, resistance. Resistance is meaning I don't want to be here. I want to be there because I need to get out of here and that's where I really want to be because I so need to get out of here because I so want to be there. Okay, the, the most potent frequency there, meaning the one you're pulsing out with the most passion, is, I don't want to be here, right? Here, here, here. So, what do you create? More? I don't want to be here, I'd rather be there. That's what we do. It's important to notice where you set your frequency from. With attachment, okay, this we could be, say, with a mother with a child, or a lover with a lover. It could be with anything. You just make it fit for you. Um, you love this person so much that you that it almost feels scary, right? Because you love them so much. So right away, because humans are always worried about losing, you flip to, I couldn't bear it if I lost them, right? So you attach to them. You attach to them. You want to be with them all the time, you want them to love you, you want to know every minute that the love is still there. Why? Because you're afraid of losing it. So you pulse out this tremendous attachment. The kid can't go to the bathroom without you worrying. He might tr stub his toe, right? The, the lover feels smothered. You're pulsing out loss, fear of loss, fear of loss. Eventually, that's what you create. That's what we create. 
with attachment. See, so they go together. You're resisting loss, you're attaching to love, right? You're resisting a poverty, so you're attaching to needing. Needing is a bad frequency. Don't need, you'll just pulse out need. You're needing money. Watch what you attach to. Watch what you resist. You'll create both. So, if, let me get, let me reorganize my thoughts here. If you notice that what you're wanting is mitigated by resisting where you are or some circumstance or way of being, that's wonderful. You have to notice. That's the point. And then go there. Open yourself up. To say hallelujah. Tune into it. What is the fear? Breathe. Feel it. Feel it. See, everybody's saying, oh no, no. Feel fear because you'll create it. Not in this case. You, it's there already. You've got to feel it, to, to know it. So you let yourself feel it. And then you love it. You don't try to get rid of it. That's resistance. You just love what's afraid. That's what it means. It needs to be loved, right? That's what you do. You just keep loving it. You want to set an intention to create something, you feel the fear, oh, okay, and you just love it. You just love it. That's a part of self-cherishing, right? You don't want to be that poor part of you to be afraid. Just cherish it. Pretty soon, it's just gonna like be so blissed out on being cherished that it will be fearless. So, that's a tool. And then what you do when you want to create something is from that third point where you're not attached or resisting. You're not desperate, in other words. You don't feel powerless, in other words, because you're not. You choose from there, and it's a preference. It's a curiosity. It's an excitement. It's a desire. It doesn't come from need or desperation. That's where you choose from. And you just love that choice. Because consciousness loves love. Consciousness loves to be loved. So you make that choice just because you love it. And you love it. You imagine it. You feel it. Money. You love money. You love money be you, when you get out your check if you want abundance. You get out your checkbook to pay a bill. You love that money for taking care of you. You don't go, oh God, no, I hardly have anything. You love what you have and you cherish it, right? It's right there for you. Anything that you desire more of, love. Because you already have some of it or you wouldn't even know it existed. That's gonna turn you into a manifester of sudden amazing windfalls, love, joy, cherishing faster than you can imagine. But it is an experiential process based on setting the cherishing desire, free and clear of need, struggle, victim, powerlessness, any of that. Judgment, no judgment, judgment, release. Judgment is really irrelevant in terms of who we are and what we're trying to do. So, it's all about that. Live, cherish, and whatever lights you up, 
put it out there and let it light up and come back to you. Have fun! Let me know how you're doing. Bye for now.